Hello everyone, once again my name is Drew and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Stronghold Kingdoms. On today's agenda is trading. Now I have a short uh, non-audio version of the trading but I want to I want to try to explain things um, and we're going to go into a bit just only of the of the free aspect. I'm not going to go into the premium aspects because one I don't have a premium token and another uh, a lot of my viewers I don't think do premium tokens so I'm going to try to help them out and try to help out people who are looking how to do these things. So first, let's start out. In order to have merchants, which are right here in the middle, uh, you must put down a market. And uh, a market can be right here in, in your village. It is underneath the uh, industry tab here. And right here, you can place up to 10 markets and you can have up to five merchants per market. So that's a total of 50 merchants in one village, which will really allow you to, to trade back and forth uh, between your villages or to, uh, or to parishes to sell goods, to buy goods. It, it allows you to stay, into the, and stay in the fight and uh, really helps your economy out quite a bit. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, I'll place down another one just so you can see. You just click it on the right-hand side and then you place it down. The markets don't really do anything, so they want to try. You want to try to build them away from your village hall in the middle here. You don't want them uh, to be obstructing your granary, your stockpile, or your village hall for your for your statues and and other honor goods that need to be proximity to something in order to get a bonus. And then from there, you can click over here to the uh, to the trading icon. Pretend I don't have any merchants. I would need to click the scouting icon and then buy some. And now you see I have two markets and I can have up to five merchants per market, which is 10. Now this is based on your research. And with the research, you can see right here underneath uh, the education tab, it's called merchant guilds. And for each one, you can have uh, merchants per, uh, per guild. So a total of five max research level. Remember, it's underneath the education tab. Now we go back. Okay, we've bought the merchants, and now we want to trade. Now, what we can do is, uh, in in order to trade outside of your parish, outside of your uh, outside of your county, outside of your country, that's another research tab. It's uh, should be right here underneath commerce, and it allows you to trade within the same county, the same province, the same country, and then of course worldwide. So, if I wanted to trade with a market that's all the way over here, say it's really good for apples, and I have a lot of apples. You can send the trade. Um, you won't get the money until the merchant gets there, but maybe the prices will still be the same. Let's go back to trading. Okay, I want to trade within the same parish. Now you can click the shield above your above your village to have your village selected. You can click the parish, and then in the top right hand corner, you can click trade with. It's the little uh, cart icon in the top right. And now this brings us to the screen that we previously saw, and you can see that uh, the exchange for uh, at the exchange right now there's about. 88,000 wood, which puts the price at 122. Meaning, if I would like to sell uh, some wood, I can get about 121 per stack of, of wood. The stacks and merchant capacity is kind of the same for each item. Uh, it's on the left hand side of the uh, of the icon here. You can see for wood, stone, it's 1,000, and for iron and pitch, it's 200. Meaning, each merchant can only carry 200 pitch, 200 iron, 1,000 stone, and 1,000 wood. Um, so I only have two merchants right now, which means I can either buy or sell up to 2,000 pieces of wood at a time. And then for apples, uh, apples through fish, it goes by 500 to then ale is 200. And of course, because we're in the fourth age, we can't buy or sell weapons at a parish. But if you did, I believe it goes up by uh, five per merchant. So for two merchants, I can buy uh, 10 of the pikes through armor uh, swords um, but the catapults can only carry one meaning two merchants I can only buy two catapults or sell two catapults at that parish now I am needing of uh, I need a bit more stone so I'm gonna buy 2,000 stone it's gonna cost me 350 gold and of course the tax is plus 25% that's always fair and then we go ahead and click buy now as you can see I can't do any more trades because I sent both my merchants out and it's one merchant trip. It's going to take about two minutes to get to the parish. Now, another thing that they added, which is really nice, if you're sending out a lot of merchant trips, you can you can click the uh, the attack screen, and then you can click the merchant tab. Now, the merchant tab shows me where my merchants are going to, which village they're from, and what they're doing, meaning they're collecting uh, stone, meaning I'm buying the stone instead of selling. It also tells me the uh, the time of the arrival. And if I was selling right here underneath the carrying uh, 
portion of it. It would tell me exactly how many I'm, I'm carrying. So it's really good to keep track if you're doing a trading session. Uh, it's another one of my videos. Uh, you can see in the description below. It, it, it allows you to keep track of, of all your merchants going in, out, and it's a great feature. With that being said, um, you do not get the goods if you buy them from the parish until your merchant gets back to your village. For So for right now, it's going to be another three minutes before I can have the 2,000 uh, stone to use. And if I would uh, want to trade through throughout the county, you can just do the exact same thing you did with your own parish, uh, given that you have the correct research. You just click the parish, and then you click Trade With, and you can see the different prices as soon as you're here. You don't have to sell anything. Um, you can just keep shopping around, find the cheapest price. But... This is the fourth age, and it seems like a lot of people are fighting in this area. So the prices are going to be fluctuating quite a bit. Um, if your world is more of a sovereign world, you may notice the prices a bit different than what they are uh, in this world. And that's about it for trading. Uh, just keep in mind your markets. The biggest problem I've seen in, in villages that I've captured and, and villages that people have shown me are that uh, they put the markets in places that are very obtrusive to the rest of the flow. To where it would be against the village hall because they think it needs to be next to it or it'll be up in the corner where a good place a cathedral could go just just try to keep them off off to the side somewhere they they're pretty small and they're pretty stackable they're pretty pretty easy to just put into a corner on their own but uh yeah uh thank you for watching if you have any questions if you have any suggestions for videos i should do just go ahead and uh leave a comment below message me in game and uh yeah thank you for watching Stronghold Kingdoms. The battle has just begun.